and welcome to Real to Real. Today, as we come to you from the tornado damaged campus of Cathedral High School here in Springfield. Just a little over a week ago, this entire East Forest Park neighborhood was hammered by one of the tornadoes that came through Western Massachusetts. Across the street on Wendover Road, we have St. Michael's Residence for Priests and St. Michael's Academy Preschool. These are the diocesan buildings which took the brunt of the June 1st tornado that swept through Western Massachusetts, leaving behind destruction and heartbreak. As the reality of the crisis has sunk in, area residents are rising to the challenge, trying to chart a course for their future. Terry Haggerty has been out all week and he joins us now with that story, Terry. Yeah, Sharon, as busy a week as it was for reporting, it's been a monumentally busy week for those trying to recover from the effects of these deadly tornadoes. Uh, many lost power for several days. Others are now without homes altogether. Our videographers and I traveled to several area locations to be able to tell the story of how some local people are dealing with the aftermath of the destruction. It's been more than a week since powerful late afternoon tornadoes tore through western Massachusetts, causing three deaths and devastating communities throughout the area. Several residents are just now realizing the scope of the destruction. Local clergy members say that many will continue to find it difficult to deal with the loss and the pain. Bishop McDonald wrote a letter to the faithful immediately following the storms. I ask for your prayers, his letter read. Prayers for those who died in the storm, for those injured, for those who lost homes or businesses, for those whose lives were upended by the tornadoes. I ask prayers of thanksgiving as well for those who rushed to help. In Springfield, Cathedral High School, St. Michael's Academy Preschool and Middle School campuses and St. Michael's residents were in the direct path of destruction. Cathedral Principal John Miller was in the school at the time. It was um, unbelievable, uh, almost like you're in a dream. Uh, we were at a meeting. I was there with about six other teachers. They scrambled to a nearby hallway away from the windows until the tornado passed. A small number of other students and personnel also found cover. So uh, thanks be to God, everybody uh, came out unscathed. The retired priests have each been relocated to area rectories and St. Michael's Academy Preschool is now operating from the St. Michael's Academy Elementary campus. The long-term status of the Surrey Road facility will not be determined for at least another two months. In any case, diocesan officials have said the buildings will be unavailable for classes in the fall. But the schools plan to resume operations in September. A search committee is working to secure a site and expects to have an answer very soon. At a school-wide meeting the evening of June 6th, more than 500 parents, students, and staff of Cathedral gathered at Our Lady of the Elms College in Chicopee. We, we come here tonight to talk a little bit about uh, just where we are in terms of uh, the next few weeks and also our plans for the summer, and then we're going to try to uh, say something about where we are going uh, in the future. A future that they look forward to in prayer. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Participants expressed many concerns. I hope that it's ready for next year because I loved Cathedral. I, I loved this sophomore year. Seeing what we saw, I don't think they'll have time to rebuild. Um, hoping that if they ever do rebuild Cathedral High School, we all know the classes have become smaller, maybe a smaller college. The next day, Cathedral students and staff gathered at Elms College for the last day of their school year. Last February, and even until very recently, Cathedral High School parents and students thought that they'd be in session until late June, considering the very many snow days they had this past winter. And I'd venture to say that none of them thought their last day would be June 7th, and none of them thought it would be held here at Elms College, away from their beloved campus that they've called home for so many years. Students felt that the time together at the Elms was very important. It showed that we really are going to stay together somehow no, no matter what happens um, we're, we're all going to find a way to stay together because we really are a family here at Cathedral. On the same day St. Michael's Academy Middle School students began attending classes at Western New England University in Springfield. 
if you want to hold it this way and make it draw something on the front. Classes will be in session there for one more week. Providing outreach and assistance to perhaps the hardest hit Springfield neighborhood were volunteers and staff at Holy Cross Parish on Plumtree Road. They provided plenty of prayers as well at the 11 a.m. Mass on June 5th. Following Mass, parish staff and volunteers canvassed the neighborhood offering help to neighbors. As the damage became apparent, Sister Cindy Matthews says that the fact that so many were spared from death and injury was miraculous. I wish we had the time to write a book called Miracle in Springfield because it is nothing but a miracle that Springfield itself we, and the whole area that we've lost four people, which, you know, we're certainly saddened for the people who have died and for their families. That, that, that's the greatest loss, of course. And then the fact that we didn't have a thousand deaths is just absolutely amazing. As we've been going around seeing our prisoners, it's like miracle after miracle after miracle. Those who survived unscathed responded to the call for assistance put out by the Catholic Charities Agency of the Diocese. The agency asked that clothing, personal care, and household items be dropped off at St. Francis Chapel on Bridge Street. It shows that the American spirit is still there, and everybody lends a hand, regardless with a, a lot of the mass media say it's still full of good people. The response has been nothing short of overwhelming. Ludlow's Our Lady of Fatima Parish filled an entire trailer with items, and members of St. Teresa Parish in South Hadley drove five full trucks to the downtown site. Catholic Charities is also working with other agencies, providing financial and material assistance to displaced families from a crisis center that has been set up at the Mass Mutual Center in Springfield. I think it's a basic need for all of us to help turn something that is not so good into something that could be good. And I think that is part of the divinity in us, just wanting to reach out, be solace and comfort to those that we see that are in pain, and in that, walk the way that we know Christ would want us to. A walk through the town of Munson quickly shows how ravaged the town was by this fury of nature. Hardest hit was the downtown area, along with a number of streets parallel to the main streets. Munson's St. Patrick Church was largely undamaged, but many parishioners were dramatically impacted. Parish volunteers and staff began taking in donations of items to help their neighbors. Responding in prayer has also been a large part of the aftermath. Members from a variety of faiths gathered one week after the tornadoes at Springfield's Christ Church Cathedral. A blessing upon those whose lives have been lost and with the blessing that they might experience eternal life. A blessing upon those who continue to pull together from this tragedy a special blessing upon them. In the face of the terrible tragedies, celebrations, although postponed, went on. Last night, members of Cathedral's class of 2011 enjoyed their commencement exercises in St. Michael's Cathedral. While many of the graduates and their families have experienced loss in the last week, they gained diplomas and, like many in our area, they gained a greater appreciation for the things in life that really matter. For a list of agencies that are helping and their contact information, log on to iobserve.org. And Terry, I understand that folks have been very generous so far in contributing to the relief efforts. Yeah, that's true. The, the response has been amazing. I mean, people have been so generous and everybody wants to help. I just want to remind people that that help is still going to be needed for a long, long time. There, there are months on end that we uh, hope to be able to plan on their generosity. Okay, thank you, Terry, so much for that report.